What's happening YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today we're right here with the Rust Belt Mechanic. So today we are back up in Michigan. This time not exactly at Truckmaster's place, but we let him tag along. We're up here at HSP Diesel, getting you guys some look in at some of the big boy stuff here. We're gonna be talking first today about the intake systems. I know I've kind of touched on it before on why I chose the HSP system, but I really have a comparison to be able to show you and bring you some I guess more in-depth professional opinions and coverage on what makes this system better than some other ones on the market. So stay tuned, let's get into it. So we're out here with Truckmaster to get a little bit of a comparison between the two intake kits. I know I did a video before on why I ended up choosing the HSP kit over any other brand. Now today we have a, a rendition here of another brand to be able to see the differences of why the kits are different and what they do and maybe get some information, some technical specs on uh, at least the HSP side of the kit for this one. So right here we've got Josh's rig. He has a WC Fab, uh, I believe it's pretty much everything, right? It's got the hot side, cold side, inlet, everything to it, just like my bundle kit, pretty much. Pretty much, other than the coolant tank and like the, the upper rad hose, but coolant, coolant hose, but pretty much. I mean, but as have, far as air inlet to it. Yeah, air pretty much. Yeah. I gotcha. So we've got that one to be able to compare to. And some of the other things that I wanted to point out was, you know, not only the routing of this kit, the differences in that one, but as well as the intake air box is what we're really trying to focus on today. Uh, in my previous video, I kind of pointed out that HSP is one of the only ones to put an actual air cleaner separator box into the engine bay to keep the intake air temps down. So we're going to talk today with Joe, the owner, and Ryan as well to be able to get some insight on what they think about the differences in these kits. There's a ton of different variables as far as, you know, calculating the horsepower, you know, depending on what intakes go into it. But um, like like we said before, the, the, cool, the cooler we can keep it, we have a lot better chance of making the motor run the way it should, um, you know, keeping temperatures, you know, in check. Um, driving it on the road, everything we've been testing and, and with our temperature probes that we put in there, we can keep driving on an ambient temperature day, we can stay within two degrees of the ambient temperature that's outside. Um, I know that we've tested it with more of an open style box and um, even with just a partially closed box with some of the other manufacturers and we were seeing anywhere from between 20 to 25 degrees higher um, than ours with the other box with our you know almost fully enclosed box so um, as far as a true power gain I, I would say that's going to be you know up to a dyno to, to show what it can go back to back um, I, I love the, the fact that you know we're just going to collect every bit of data we can and and uh, let the data do the talking. I mean, I don't want to, uh, I'm not definitely not here to bash anybody. Um, there's a ton of good manufacturers out there that make good parts and you know, we're obviously just trying to do the best we can and, and keep keep building on everything we're learning every day. Um, it's, I, I do this because I, I love it and making stuff go fast is, is awesome and hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll just keep building better products and, and keep improving the trucks for everybody. Now when we're talking about the differences in air mixture and Ryan and Joe were talking about the the differences and how the air is able to get into the engine and get you a better combustion allows the turbo to spool a little bit better. These run engines they run at a very specific air to fuel ratio. So if you're able to get colder air into the engine, you're able to put more fuel in there as well. More fuel, more air, more combustion, more horsepower. It ends up just equaling out to something that you guys will have better efficiency, more horsepower in the end, it'll work out great for you. 
Now let's go over and look at Josh's and let's look at the differences between the intakes. On the HSP kit we had the, the cold air box to it, but over here with, I believe you have the WC Fab kit, let's look at the difference in that one. Now with the WC Fab Kit, you see the slight differences here and there. Uh, one is going to be preference of air tubing. Mine, the inlet air from the intercooler actually passes behind the alternator. I know that different kits offer that, but that's just a slight difference to it. But the big difference we wanted to see was where the air inlet is. Uh, pretty much the filters are going to be about the same size. They use pretty close to the same filter sock for them as well. So it's not going to be a huge difference on getting the air to it. It's going to be the quality of air that's going to be going into the engine. When that quality of air is actually cooler, you're going to get that better air density, better combustion for the engine, and it's going to like that and it's going to respond a whole lot better. I did in the last video just at standard idle temp, the differences between what I was getting in the engine bay temperatures compared to what I was getting in, say, the closed off air boxes, and it was like a 20 degree difference. So the differences in these trucks is right there for you guys to see. It's absolutely plain as day. So it's just another piece of information. I know when you guys purchase these kits, you're spending a whole lot of money. You know, these kits are $1,000 plus for it. It doesn't matter what manufacturer you go through. So I know that you're looking up and finding as much data and information as you possibly can. So hopefully this is gonna be another data point that you can throw into the mix and hopefully help you make a better decision. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Hopefully you learned something. Make sure you stay tuned. We've got lots more Duramax and tool content coming up. Thanks again, and as always, you guys stay awesome.